So hello everyone, you all, you all know about the HCF and LCM. What is HCF? Highest common factor. And what is LCM? Least common multiple. So what is the HCF? HCF means, so then, let's say any number. It will have many factors like, for example, 16 have many factors such as 1, 2, 4, then and so on. And last one is 16. The highest one is 16, uh, factors of 16. Similarly, any number is having various factors. So out of all this, we have to see the highest common factor. Let's we have to find the common factors. Then out of the common factors, we have to see the highest common factors. Similarly, LCM least common multiple. So generally, multiple means the the thing that is coming in the table of that particular numbers is multiple of that one. So out of all that, we will find found we will first find the common multiples. Okay, and from that one, we will, we are going to select the least one. So why I'm going to why I'm saying this one because. We have to do the LCF and LCM using the prime factorization method. Then we have to write the factors in the power of that factors. What? Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to say everything in details. Don't worry. And first, you have to see the LCF and you have to learn the finding LCF and LCM using the prime factorization method. And using that one, there are various sample paper questions that I'm going to do this one. So let's get started. So let's see another application of fundamental theorem of arithmetic. So in this question, there was find the HCF and LCM of 80 and 30 by prime factorization method okay you must remember this one prime factorization method this technique is very important okay so let's try this one so if you do the prime factorization of 80 then let's do the 80 that means if you give 2 times then it will be 40 if you give 2 times then it will be 20 if you give 2 times then it will be 10 if you give again 2 times then it will be 5 okay now if you do the prime factors on 300 let's say 300 300 okay let's do this one 2 then it will be 150 if you again give 2 then it will be 75 if we again give this, this one with 5 then it will become 15 now if we again give this one with 3 then it will be 5 okay so find the hcf and find the hcf and lcm of 80 and 30 by prime factorization method so if we do this in this one then let's let write this one in the factorization method that is we can write 80 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 into 1 okay so you, you can check this one so you can check this one it is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into, two into 5 okay and we can write this one is we can write 1 every time similarly if you write that if you write for the 301 let's write this one for the 300 300 300 is equal to 2 into 2 into 5 into 5 into 3 okay and we can write 1 as the last term if you want to check then let's see this one 300 300 is equal to 2 into 2 into 5 in, into 5 into 3 okay now by we have done this one by prime factor now what is the HCF? HCF means highest common factor. So we, we are going to take the number of times it is coming common. So for HCF, let's see, 2 is coming once, 2 is coming twice, but 2 is not coming any more time. So 2 is 2 to the power whole square, similar to 5, 5 is coming only once, so only 5 to the power 1. Now 3, 3 is not coming, so 1 to the power 1. That, so this means HCF is equal to 2 into 2 into 5 that is 20 okay now let's do the LCM if we're going to see the LCM then first we are going to take the common one 2 into 2 then we are going to which is not common then we are also going to take these terms okay that is L LCM is equal to 2 to the power 4 
into 5 to the power 2 so this one and this one into 3 and this one is 120 okay you got this one now why am i saying this one because you have seen 80 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 into 1 no other term will have this format of factorization 300 no other term will have this format of factorization thus from the fundamental theorem of arithmetic we can easily see this one then we can easily see this one no other factor will have same prime factorization and this factorization is unique okay thank you everyone